Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to attempt, like I said, attempt to do a chit chat, but get a little a chit chat. Get ready with me today, and if I can speak, it'd be a real good chit chat, wouldn't it? Um, so I just fancied playing with my makeup, to be honest. So I thought, why not do a video where I just play with my makeup? I'm not teaching anything. I would like to do a disclaimer because this is a big thing. My eyebrows are appalling. I'm getting wax this week and I don't want to pluck the, like, the hairs that are there because then it'll just spoil it for the wax because I like a one will whoosh. So ignore that. This is brows and the natural habitat and all that jazz. So anyway if uh, you want to stick around with me please don't switch off. If you do switch off you're an idiot. Wick the fringe back. I've just washed my hair well, and like dried it a little bit, but you, you can guarantee because I've put my fringe back, it's just gonna like go all ski with now, a bit awful. Anyway, we're moving on. I think what I'm gonna do first is stare into space. Start with my eyes, actually. These palettes of choice, I'm gonna be using the Nude Tude from the Balm. It's just, I'm just doing like a brown, um, brown eye with a gold lid and I'm using a few transition shades from my Z palette um, you know like the clear ones and stuff like that the clear ones the skin toned ones so yeah let's get on with that first thing first I need to prime my lid so first off I'm just gonna prime my lid with the uh, MAC Paintsley paint part this is just a skin toned one just to Obviously, set the eye. Again, eyebrows are horrible. I'm not going to go in close because this is literally just me just whacking stuff over my face and hoping for the best. You can see how it's done. Not like see how it's done, like this is how you meant to do it, but just see this is how I do it. Anyway, I'm waffling. So. I'm 29 now, it was my birthday on the 7th of June, you actually, I think I'll have posted my birthday haul video before I've done this one, so if I have I will link it down below, but um, I got checked to some lovely, lovely gifts, I was truly spoiled, I stayed in the Marriott Hotel, I mean, it's, I've stayed there before, it's just it's like a treat for me to stay there, so it was really nice of my mum to pay for that. Um, I'm just going to take a Spectrum Cosmetics Massive Brush, and I'm just going to set that, con well, it's not concealer, set that um, paint part with a uh, uh, flesh toned. I think this, yeah, it's the, oop, and I've just got blue all over my top. Nice. Um, it's just a flesh tone one from NYX Cosmetics that I got in my NYX tile, I think it's called Vixen. So it's just that. I'm just going to take Sleek from the Nude Balm Palette and I'm just going to um, do that line that I do just so you know where, where I'm going to. Yeah, I've not used this palette much to be honest. I've actually just sorted out all my makeup <laughs> and I have far too much and I've got more coming as well. But I've noticed I've got a lot of eyeshadow palettes that I've not even touched yet. And I'm like, Becky, what are you doing? So I thought to myself, I might do a little thing where I do a different palette each time I do a look and it's like dedicated to that palette. Let me know what you think because I've got some cracking palettes as well. I even bought the Lorac Mega Pro 2 palette from America and it cost me a bloody fortune and I've still not touched it. I mean half the time it's because I don't actually want to touch something that costs so much. But yeah, if, if you want to see any of them... Or if you'd like to see like a video dedicated to what palettes I've got, then you know, just let me know because eyeshadow is my thing. I might not be the greatest eyeshadow person, but I love collecting them. I am now going to take... Where are you? I'm going to take the Morphe M200 brush. It's just a massive, fluffy brush. It's amazing. And I'm going to go into Sultry which is just a light brown shade basically. I'm going to have that as my transition shade and I'm just going to put that all in my crease. Now 
I've never really said in my videos, but I have hooded lids, so I tend to go over my crease. Uh, so if you uh, were ever wondering, that is what I'm doing. Another crazy pigmented. I like doing my eyeshadows first because if you do sellotape it's not going to whack off all your, um, rip off all your foundation which I found and also I found that sellotape doesn't stick very well on foundation so I don't like doing that but one of the main reasons I like doing it first is if I use a wet wipe it doesn't matter because I've not like ruined anything I can just clean it all up probably means I'm crap really doesn't it because you should be able to do your eyes and also it's like fallout it's all very well saying put loads of powder under your eye and then just brush it away. I tried that once. It didn't work so well with me. I mean, granted the colour that fell out, well, I think it was like a dark blue. So, you pretty much snookered if that like, ruined your concealer, aren't you? But anyway, yeah, so back to my birthday. My mum trekked me to the Marriott Hotel in Worsley. It's not a spot, by the way. I'm just like getting a bit of stray hair there. I'm not picking my nose. Uh, yeah, she uh, tripped me to the Worsley, Ho the Marriott Hotel in Worsley, and it was so lovely. And she told me the day before my birthday, only because I booked to do something on the Wednesday, which would have been the eighth. Um, and obviously, I'd have been in the hotel having my breakfast at the time when I uh, was making these plans. So she had to tell me. Oh, and it was such a nice surprise because I don't know if it's because I'm getting old because I was 29 this year, but. When it gets like near my birthday, I sort of get this like anticlimactic feeling like, oh, I'm just like old. And I know I'm not old, old, but it's like I'm old. I'm like in my late, like you know, I'm staring at 30 now and I'm single and I still live with my parents. And I'm like, oh, all these ideas I had as a kid. Actually, to be honest, I really didn't have ideas as a kid. I think I wanted to be like a singer or summer or you know like a ballerina like I never wanted to be a ballerina because I don't like exercise but that's another story right I'm now gonna take I don't know these are spectrum brushes but I got them before they redid them and they, they started putting numbers on them so this one is like a fluffy blender brush I don't know if it'd be the equivalent of the MAC 217 or not but it's just a lovely blender brush and I love these brushes so much and I just think they're so pretty I'm going to take, I don't know if I'm going to go brown or red, I think I'll go red. I'm going to take Sexy, which is like a cranberry shade, if you can see it there. And I'm just going to put that in my outer crease before I do the gold. Ooh, that's a lovely colour. So yeah, i got some really nice stuff. And um, my friend, um... Ashley, so hey Ashley, she got me a cake and it had MAC makeup on it I, um, and it was it was really really nice, it was such a surprise and I thought it's like the perfect thing to get for me at the moment because I've gone a little bit obsessed with makeup lately, haven't I? So, and what else? Oh yeah, and then when we were at the hotel, um, we obviously checked in at two and then went to our room and then put all our bags down and everything and then we went to the Trafford Centre now I was meant to be getting the Urban Decay foundation and a replacement of the concealer because um, the concealer I've got is looking a bit yellow on me so I wanted to get the lighter shade and see if that's uh, a bit better for me so we were going to the Trafford Centre to do that but then at the same time my mum had arranged for everyone to come to the hotel this was obviously before I knew that I was going to the hotel it was like it was going to be a surprise then so we had to sort of rush it so I literally went and I just bought loads of stuff from Boots that I was buying because <laughs> I'm really cheap. I had loads of coupons to use and I was like I'm going to use them because I wanted a perfume for my, uh, for my birthday and I said to him I said we might as well just go in because I had a fiver off and it's a fiver and I love collecting my points so I didn't want to miss out on all my vouchers but the funny thing was is I rushed around on my actual birthday to go to Boots to then get back to the hotel to meet everyone and the next day in the post I got some more coupons from Boots so all that was for naught but it was good and the lady who served me I think she was called Brenda yeah I'm sure she was called Brenda she was really really nice she was really lovely so yeah I got um, some nice things which 
like I say, if my um, birthday haul video's up, I will link it below, and I will have gone more in depth on that, but I got a few makeup bits, and I got some, um, like I said, I got some perfume, it's the Juicy Couture, Ro is it La Rose, or something rolls anyway oh my god it's amazing and even if you don't like the smell of it which i don't understand why you wouldn't like the smell of it sorry about that my camera was cutting out i don't know why you wouldn't like the smell of it because it's just really nice i like fruity type smells anyway um the packaging is just amazeballs it's like all what do you call it glitter all over the bottle so i was like yay we will have that <sighs> anyway, so I we ended up having um, everyone came to the hotel. I think we checked in at two, put all our bags down. Say by three, we were in the Trafford Centre. Then it was like pottering about the Trafford Centre, and I think we got back to the hotel for like half past four. And then it was going to the room, sort of put things that we just bought into bags and stuff, so we weren't just left randomly. And then it, we went down to the bar area. I'd, um, if you're familiar with the Worsley Marriott, you'll know that it's um, there's something called the Chimney Bar. So we went down there, and they've got a courtyard opposite there, which is obviously for outside. I think it's more for smokers, but don't quote me on that. And it was practically empty. There was like a few like businessy type meetings going on, but it was empty, and they had these big round tables. So we commandeered that, and it was just that matter of waiting for everyone uh, to turn up. But it was my my dad, my friend with the cake, um, and my friend who got me the cake is actually going out with my brother, so she's like classroom like, like sister-in-law, but they're only boyfriend and girlfriend. And her daughter and her son, and then my other niece came as well, because my dad was looking after her that day. And then my brother came, my brother's autistic, so he was asked to come. Um, but yeah, it was really good. It was really, really nice to see everyone. And... It, it was just nice to know that you're like, oh yeah, everyone was there for you. And you're not just this old fat who doesn't have anyone to talk to. So yeah, I had a really, really good time. And then I love like the breakfast in the morning. I probably sound so fat now, but I like going down for the breakfast in the morning because you just have like a little bit of everything. So it's like, you've got your eggs and bacon, you've got your porridge, you've got your cereals. And it's just, it's just nice. It makes me feel posh. So, and then we were meant to go back to the Trafford Centre on the Wednesday after we checked out the hotel because it's like around the corner. But, oh my God, I was so tired. Don't ask me why I was tired. But I don't think you ever have like a truly comfortable sleep when you're in a hotel. Whether it's because you know you've got to go to Pearl for your breakfast or you've got to get up early to get out. I don't know. It's just, it's one of those weird things. And I had to, and I said to him, I said I'd rather just go home and we'll, uh, we'll, go to the traffic centre another day and we've still not been and it's like a week later but um I'm kind of glad I did wait because my big brother got me a £20 gift voucher for Debenham so I can use that towards my foundation. I think I'm also going to get a Too Faced melted lipstick thingy. Let me know what you think of those and what colour you think I should get. I'm like going to more towards the coral thing but lately I've just like had a like coral fix with the uh, with lipsticks which is it's good because it's getting me away from the pinks but at the same time it's like how many coral lipsticks do you need so let me know if you've tried them and what you think of the formula and also what's the finish like once they've they're on do they go matte are they semi matte are they satin what because the counter that the Debenhams in Traffic Centre has is just like it's just like an empty counter I don't think they have anyone there that's going to help you and also what I'd like to know is why do the UK not stock the lighter shades of the Bond This Way foundation on Too Faced and it's like why why I'm just going to go back in with that sultry colour just to buff out the edges but yeah it was a really nice birthday and like I say I got truly spoiled and if you watch my hell video you will know what I got so, but I feel like I've not filmed for ages. It's just been like all crazy. Oh, we had like a little scare the other week though because my brother's autistic and this is the second time this has happened. He keeps having fits. Now, on the times that he's had the fits, both times, he's not gone to bed that night. He's literally stayed up the whole night. So we don't know whether that's doing it. It's like a lack of sleep thing. 
or whether it's the heat because sometimes obviously the heat can do that and he's diabetic so when we go to the hospital they, they put it down but it's not a diabetic coma it's actually a fit so each time he's been his bloods have been fine other than like initially when the ambulance comes it spikes but that's more to do with like the adrenaline pumping because obviously what's happened to the body um he's always fine i mean my god he has got some sort of healing power because he is literally after like being on the floor he pushes himself to get up and with his autism you can't explain to him no just to take it easy and to sit down and when we do take him to the hospital my dad has to drive him there because he's too scared to get in the ambulance and we can't explain to him that everything's all right so it's um it's scary at the time when it's happening but then by the time he gets to the hospital it's like nothing's ever happened other than the fact that he's a bit shaky um but the only test they've been able to do is to say that it's not his diabetes and it's not his medication that he's on because he's got autism with um, challenging behaviour and aggression so he's on like tablets just to calm him down so he's not so aggressive and they've basically just said it's not his medication and that but they seem to think now it's like um, febrile convulsions like what infants get and it's where the body like overheats that much that the brain just cuts off and that's when they obviously start fitting so it's something that he could always have it's something that could just go again but he's had two within the space of two weeks the first time it happened was like the scariest thing in the world um, it was more the noise, his breathing made it, oh, it was just awful. But the second time didn't seem to last as much and he didn't seem to get as many bad, not bad symptoms, it sounds really horrible, that he didn't seem to look as bad in the face. So it's, it's pretty much at the moment just like waiting to see if it happens again, as horrible as that sounds. And, you know, then to go in for more tests. They do want to like do like CAT scans and stuff. How we're gonna do that with Jim, I don't know because Jim is a big guy. I mean, he's like six foot and he weighs about 17 stone, so you can imagine how big he is. Um, but he's got the brain of a toddler and you can't really explain to a toddler you've got to do this because it'll make you feel better. So we'll have to just see what happens. Anyway, I'm taking Seductive from the Balm palette and I'm just gonna put that all over my lid. It's a, a gorgeous like burnt orange, a bit orange, burnt gold shade. So it's really nice. I probably should have bought a base on first, but oh well. So yeah, it's uh, it's been a funny few weeks. Like I say, I had a lovely birthday and everything, but then it was like Jim being all um, ill a few days later, just. Uh, sort of put things into perspective for you really that you've just got to embrace each day really I mean it the actual fits can as harsh as they sound they can't kill him it's more just if he like fell over and knocked himself out that's what they say about fits so he's been really lucky and we're just uh, keeping an eye on him and we're just we're going on the assumption now that it's to do with like heat so we're making sure that he has lots of cold drinks, we're making sure that he has a few cold showers a day just to keep his car temperature down and luckily since then it's not actually been the greatest weather in the UK so it's um, it's been a bit easier in terms of uh, monitoring him because there hasn't been any heat waves to actually get panicked over. So yeah, that's uh, the joy of my life at the moment. So, oh yeah, so that's, that was my point. Anyway, so that's why I'm not really filmed anything since I put my last video on. And I had a few, like, obviously backed up, but I've obviously used them. And it's just getting into the frame of mind of filming again. I mean, I'm all, I know I'm only, like, a newbie and everything, and who cares if I don't put one on, but I personally like doing it. It's keeping me focused. I'd like to say that uh, I'm losing loads of weight, but at the moment it's slow going but it is keeping me like on track so to speak and I will get more into it as I go along but that's all I really have to say about that but I've got a few haul videos um, coming up and bit of all out there. I've got a few haul videos coming up so um, I will be uh, doing those. I actually got some stuff from America, well from Sephora, that was technically for my birthday but I'm thinking I'm going to do them as a separate one because they came before my birthday so and I got that much on my birthday anyway I don't want to make it such a big video so I might do them as Sephora ones separate. Um, 
let me know. Well, you can't let me know what you think, so I've already filmed it. But yeah, it'll be uh, it'll be good. I'm just gonna take that um, Spectrum blending brush. I'm just gonna go back in with Sexy that uh, plummy colour and just sort of merge those two together. I am digging that seductive shade. Yep, I think that's nice. And what I'm going to do is take that original um, blending brush and I'm just going to get Vixen again, which is the flesh tone shade, and I'm just going to go over just the both colours just to make sure they're really uh, smoothed out. I'm thinking of doing some um, first impression type videos as well, let me know what you think. I've got some like new foundations lately, like, I mean, the actual Urban Decay one I've tried like a sample of, I've never had it as like a full one and I really like it, but like, I've got the new Tarte Amazon Rainforest one, I've had it like in a box, waiting to review on my blog. Um, but let me know if you want to like do, see a first impressions here, or I could do like a like f branded one, because I think I've got the, the Tarte Amazon Rainforest foundation, I've got the concealer, I've also got some lipsticks, I've got the eyeshadow set and I think that's it. So the only thing that I wouldn't have is powder to set it. Um, but I don't think that really matters, does it? I'm going to get a wet wipe and I'm just going to straighten out that line. Right, anyway, so now onto the face. Myself with the Freedom Priming Water Thing Midgey. Hydrate the face and all that. And then I'm going to take some of the Freedom Pro Mattifat Eye um, Primer. Oh, exploded. And I'm just going to put that on my pertinent areas, which at the moment are my nose, my cheeks, my chin, and a bit on my forehead. Used a bit too much, so I'll have to blend it a bit further out. Yeah. Got a bit too nose, I'm going to argue with someone. Oh, speaking of that, I think I'm like jinxed when it comes to Starbucks. I went to Starbucks a few weeks ago and asked for, this is where my diet's like going so well, I asked for an iced caramel coffee frappuccino and they said, do you want some cream in that? And I said, yes, I will have cream on that. So I waited, I went for the, this was in the 24 hour one. So I waited and went round to the front and got my order and drove off. Now, when I got it, I did think to myself, oh, it looks a bit of a funny colour, but I just took it to me because it's, um, oh, sorry, by the way, I'm using the Ultra Strobe Cream by um, Makeup Revolution. It's, uh, I've never tried it, but it's meant to be a dupe of the um, MAC Strobe Cream, so I'd like it. It is a right nice glow on the face. And that's what you want on this weather. So really, yeah, back from a Starbucks thing. So I asked for this iced coffee frappuccino. Went round to the front, paid for it, got it, drove off. And like I say, I remember at the time thinking to myself, oh, that looks a bit um, like of a funny colour. But I just took it because obviously it's a, the actual product is mixed up in the blender. So I just took it to mean it was like the, the frothy bit. Um, didn't think anything of it, took a sip of it, it was cream. It was a iced caramel cream frappuccino. Oh, it was like the worst tasting thing in the world. I like sweet things as you can tell by my size. I'm not shy about admitting that I like sweet things, but that was like sugar overload. I literally could not, it was like disgusting and I couldn't do anything because I was already in the motorway at that point. So that was a wasted journey. Um, to go to this drive through Starbucks to get my Starbucks. So then anyway, was it yesterday or the day before I decided to go again and, you know, do it a second time and as I pulled out I had a dodgy lid and it came off and cream just went all over my gearbox and 
ruined. Oh, I can't even speak to you about it. It was just awful. So that was my adventure. I'm just going to put, I should have put this on first actually, some puff off by Benefit. Wow, that is green. 29 years old and I've got skin like a 17 year old. It's a lot thicker than a formula. This is, sorry, that was the NYX HD like green corrector stick. And it's a lot thicker than the Freedom one I've been using. Um, it's nice though. And even though it's a more like prominent green, it blends in like, you know, it fades well. And don't panic because you don't see that once you've got your... Um, foundation on and everything just meant to tone down the red to be honest do I look toned down or do I just look random next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually just using a sample and it's the super balanced foundation by Clinique I got a colour co co corrected I got colour match to this but I'm not sure because sometimes um, foundations oxidise on me so I'm hoping this one's alright um, we shall see it looks a bit, oh well, hopefully it'll blend. The Real Techniques brush, I'm just going to spritz it with my priming water because I wear it before and it's obviously a bit of it. Um, I can't find my beauty blender and to be honest it's like at the end of its days now anyway so I figure this is the perfect time to get this one out to see what all the fuss is about. Oh so far so good. I'm going to do I'm actually going to use my Morphe M4 M439 brush and I'm going to do the other side in that and see if that's a bit better. Um, it could just be that I need more foundation on. I have a lot of face but we shall see. Oh, I had to answer the phone then so I went off. Anyway I'm just going to see how it looks with the buffing brush and see if that like does anything because to be honest I don't know how people are doing the foundation where they're looking like they've got no skin like everything is so flawless but yeah when I do it I can see every lump and bump it's like you can still see my skin and just I don't know I don't know if it's just like a confidence thing I will say this I don't know whether I put more on this side which I don't think I did but it goes on a lot better with the brush if you can see um, and I don't know if it's too dark for me this shade to be honest I should have got a shade lighter I prefer to go lighter with my foundations and then if you need to you can just add a bit of bronzer rather than the other way around because like today when it oxidises on the skin the other day I got colour match to one um, can't remember what it was I think it was the Perfect Beyond Perfecting one Oh my god, I got colour match, which at the time, because I even saw it as well, it looked fine. By the time I got home, I looked like an umpa lumpa. It had oxidised so bad on my skin. But fair play to Clinique, their uh, customer service is amazing. Them about it, they've actually been really good about it and, um, you know, sorted me out the correct shade and stuff. I'm going to use my new uh, NYX HD concealer that I got in my haul. I haven't used this yet, it's a bit lighter than my skin tone so it should do a nice, oh yeah, finally, that's nice, I've been on a kick with um, concealers at the moment, trying to find the perfect one, let me know what you like using. I've got like the LA Girl Pro Conceals and I've got like the Collection Lost Imperfection one and I've had, uh, I, I did have one by Bobby Brown but it was way too thick for me so I'll give that to my mum who, she used it all up anyway so she seemed to like it. I don't think she likes it enough to replace it though because it was like 25 quid. Um, cause I bought it at the time when I bought the corrector, again the corrector's really thick as well but I'd rather use that and know that it's covered my under eyes than not use it, I mean obviously I've not used it today. But you know, YOLO. Set it with the e.l.f. Um, under eye setting powder. I think my under eyes look nice though when I set them. I don't know how people get that perfectly uh, looking under eye, I'd love to know. 
how what lens they're using. <laughs> e E1 brush. This is I don't know if it's out yet. I um get the Morphe brush subscription i couldn't even speak then it ends up being in the uk with shipping and i also get charged off my bank for the privilege of buying stuff in america and it all comes together it ch obviously with the exchange rate changes but i've never paid more than 22 pounds um like this month the actual shipping and brush set i think was 18 pounds 72 and i've paid two pound in bank fees because the bank likes to charge you because technically it's like a debit card payment to an American company so they have to charge you for the privilege of doing that and um, it's so worth it, it really was like this is $22 to buy on its own and it was like I think I got three brushes in that one and I've had some like like that blending brush I was using before that came in the set and I've got some other ones and they've just been really really nice um, I like this um, powder, I hope it doesn't have flashback and look really white. It's just the um, the NYX translucent powder but it looks really white in the pan as you can see. Um, so I'm just hoping it isn't, I like to make sure that my, my um, oily bits are all set. Spectrum pencil brush. Again, um, if you want to know where I got the Spectrum brushes from, I got the eye set, the complete eye set. I think it's about thirty pounds, and I got the ones before they've changed it. So I think one is slightly different. I think it's that one is more tapered in the new one, and um, but this was in that set anyway. Uh, I'm just going to take Sultry, which was the light brown shade, and I'm just going to put it under my eyes just to join out that wing in the outer bit I'm going to smudge it down a bit just to make it a bit more sultry I suppose take the Morphe M508 brush again this was in my brush club if you are interested in hearing more about the Morphe brush club just um, let me know and I can give you all the details um, I do have like a referral thing that if you join you get a hundred points because they're doing a new point scheme now I'll obviously get some as well so if you don't want to do it you know it's no bother or anything like that um, but if you are interested just let me know in the comments below and I'll uh, put some info on about it I'm actually going to take the darker brown shade this time I don't want to put the red under my eye and I'm just going to smudge that along my lash line uh, keeping it as close as possible but yeah if you want to know more about it just uh, you know let me know you can either comment below or you can tweet me. I am on Twitter at bubblybex3. I do like Twitface. So come and have a gander. If you want to. So while I'm here, obviously I've already said that I've got loads of eyeshadow palettes and if you, I'm going to like do a look each time. But um, just let me know if there's like a specific look you want me to attempt. I have been practicing my cut creases. I don't know whether to do it on camera because to be honest I'm not that good. I've already said that. To be honest, it's all practice in it. I don't know whether just to do it anyway. And just hope for the best. Let me know what you think. Like I say, comment below. Let a girl know. Again, I'm going to take the brush again and I'm just going to smudge out that darker shade. I don't know what to do for my inner corner. Because they have got a really nice, like, light gold shade that could not do well me in a corner but I just don't know or I'm using the Kiko water eyeshadow in 208 which is meant to be a dupe of Max Whisper of Guilt or was it Oh Darling that came out it's like basically the same formula the repackaging it and I don't know whether to do that me in a corner because that will really pop won't it anyway moving on from the eyes I'm going to do my brows I think no I'm not, I'm going to do my mascara, I'm just going to curl the lashes, these are the um, vintage company rose gold ones, I love these curlers and you can actually uh, heat them with your hair dryer and then curl your lashes, it's meant to like be a more intense curl, I've never tried it because 
I'm scared that I'll do it and then my eyelashes will stick to it and then fall off. And I don't have enough lashes it is without making them fall off. I got them dyed the other week. It was alright. I think I'll carry on that. I am my brows done as well, but to be honest, I have to fill out my tails that much anyway that I didn't see the point of it because I ended up covering up with products anyway. So I think I'm just going to leave the actual brows, but I think I might have my eyelashes done again. Um, I'm just trying the Peter Thomas Roth Lashes to Die for mascara. I've not tried it. I've got that many mascaras. Ooh, I've got that many mascaras um, to use that. I don't think I'll ever need to buy another one. My favourite so far is the Benefit Bad Girl Lash. I really like that one. But this is nice. It's separating my lashes really prettily. Is that a word? Prettily? So. I'm not going to be putting falses on either, guys. So. YOLO. I'm really sure I'm putting them on. I really should practice more. But because I wear spectacles, I. Um, tend to not wear them because they hit the lens and they just look stupid so I might still start practicing I'm gonna like psych myself up to get contact lenses one day which just the thought of poking me eye I think I could put them in it's the thought of taking them out and then someone said to me oh why don't you have laser eye surgery are you joking now you can see it coming towards you that will pierce me on nipple so, we shall see if I'm brave enough for that. It's not a very thick formula. I'd say it's more lengthening, separating than volumising. But it might be good to actually put my Benefit one over the top of it. Because this has separated all the lashes and then the Benefit one could like, you know, add a bit of volume and make them look a bit thicker. I do like it though. I'm glad I've tried it. I mean, it's a £20 mascara, so... You want it to do something, don't you? I'm going to go in my waterline with the Rimmel Scandalous Eyes Waterproof Coal Kajal in number 11 golden. It's just basically gold. By the way, I have actually got um, a load of stuff that I've bought from TK Maxx. Um, like branded stuff like Steeler palettes. I've got some NARS stuff, uh, Too Faced. If you want me to do like a video about the stuff that I have found from um, TK Maxx just as a this is what you could get, you know, keep your eye out type of thing, do let me know because it's not guaranteed that everyone's going to have it and it, that you can always grab it, it's like literally what happened, it, what, you know, what turns up. So if it's something that you'd like to see, you know, please do let me know but if not I won't be upset because obviously you might not be able to get a Too Faced palette now. And I'm just going to go over my brows, I'm going in with the Colourpop pencil. I'm not really a fan of pencils, I just can't be asked with the... Um, gel, but I might go in the gel to do my tail to be honest um i don't know i just i don't seem to get that wing that everyone does so yeah, maybe i'm doing something wrong she says while well, she's doing it <laughs> so i don't know what i'm doing wrong with my brows to be honest it was only like in the last year that I've realised, well like in, like in 2016 sort of thing, that I've realised brows are a big, a big part of your features and you should like, you know, fill them in a little bit because I do have hair there, it's just that I don't have much of a tail, so I've never really done anything but I like the Freedom Brow Pomade, I just feel like, I don't know if it's too dark for me or, see, I don't like warm Oh shucks. I don't like warm shades you see. So to be honest, that's as far as I'm gonna go with that because I don't care. I'm just gonna go in with a concealer brush because I smudged. Um But yeah, I don't really like warm shades when I uh do my brows. And I've noticed that a lot of the like powders and stuff are very warm and I don't want warm. So, I'm using Ash Brown by Freedom at the moment. Let me know if, uh, obviously it is that slightest bit dark. If you see my old videos, you'll know what I mean. But let me know if there's another one I should try, or another colour, should I say. I'm alright with the actual product. 
but let me know if there's another colour I might get, is it brown or light brown or dark brown or one that's underneath it, I don't know. Is some people make it look... Do you ever like watch a YouTube video and think, oh I can do that and then when you attempt to do it you're like, what in the hell? They're like ninjas. Like working things out. YOLO. I don't know why I keep saying YOLO but that's the best they're going to be. If you don't like my brows, don't look at them. If I can live with it, you can live with it. And I'm just going to put some L'Oreal Brow Plumper over the top. This is the darkest one. And yeah, just set these bad boys down. I'm getting a new car soon. It's actually in the country. Um, but it's stuck in like the sorting thing when it first gets in the country so my um, the guy who I'm talking to about it, you know he'll bought it off he, um, he said it, he doesn't know when it's going to get from there because it's like obviously like, every single Audi in the country gets cars from it going with the benefit highbrow obviously under my brow bone. I like to use this because um, I can then set like the powder on top of it and I feel it does a bit more um, and because I've got a bit of a bushy brow thing going on I think it'll hide it a bit. Well, that was the idea anyway but I don't know if it's worked and I'm just going to put a bit on the inner corner um, just so that the colour I put there sits on it. Um, yep, yeah. my brows are hideous at the moment. I'd love to know how people have like no brow hair. What is their secret? I'd love to know what the secret is because I literally have my brows done and then two days later it's like you need to just get your brows done again. I should be a hairy Mary. the amazing Morphe M527 again I got this in the brush club it's just a fantastic brush it's so big and fluffy and I'm pretty sure it's similar to a MAC one um I can't remember the, I don't know what the name of the MAC one is because I don't only meant any MAC um brushes but I'm pretty sure it's similar to that anyway so that's bronzer and I've done that with the Benefit Hula bronzer um I think I went a bit too far on this cheek but YOLO Top Sharp Glow Stick in ooh, what would you call this one? I don't know, it's the gold one anyway. I really like this. And I know I've put powder on, but I just put it across the tops like this. And you're gonna like, whoa, what the hell are you doing, woman? But trust me. And I just do that and then you're done. <laughs> I'm not joking. So I just do that and then I get my beauty blender and I smooth out the edges with that and it just looks really nice a cream highlight down first and then put your powder one on top boom so on top of that I'm actually going to put like I say I'm going to put the Kiko water shadow in 208 and I'm going to use I'm going to use this flushy brush from Morphe it's the M501 uh, there's a bit of a kickback to the Water shadow, so just be careful. I'm just gonna brush that all over the cheekbone. Technically, I really shouldn't use a lot of highlighter because I have a lot of texture in my skin, but I don't give a shit. I don't have that smooth skin that everyone's lying about. They are lying. It's like special cameras, I'm telling you. <laughs> Um, ombre blush. This is like so like boom. Or fiber brush. This is by Makeup Revolution. It's like a stipple in one, uh, and I'm just going to take a little bit. Mm, I'm going to do a funny face. Oh well, that is pigmented. A little bit of my finger, and I'm just going to emphasize the cupid's bow. 
And now it's for lips. And today's lip of choice is red. Um, I'm just using these. Uh, I got the red lip liner from Primark. Uh, I've said in my Primark videos below that um, I really love the Primark lip liners. I think they're awesome. And I love their matte lip crayons. So I got the red ones and I'm just going to put it on my face. So yeah, I'm just going to paint my lips. Ooh, that's nice. It's all thinky red. Oh, shit. Smudged. And then I'm just going to go in with the red crayon. It's actually looking more like it's an orange red. So I'm hoping it's not too bad because I'm not really keen on orange red. Ooh, that looks nice. Put some gloss over the top of that because I like it and... I like it. It's got like a little shimmer to it, so I think it'll look nice. Remember I said that my fringe would go ski with as soon as I took my headband out? And they did. Anyway, yeah, this is the finished look anyway. I hope you've enjoyed this video. That's the finished look. I've attempted to do some of my fringe by attempt. I mean, I tried to wet it so it would go in the direction I want and it didn't work, so... Um, I hope you've enjoyed this chit chat get ready with me it was just trying something new do let me know down below if you enjoyed it or if you just like me to just stick to my voiceovers or stick to just music or you know whatever just to tell me down below I um, hope it wasn't boring anyway I have this feeling that it's really boring and I've just sort of like gone um. <laughs> anyway um, if you do like this look please let me know um, and I will speak to you in my next one bye guys